So, um, this video that you're going to be watching today, it's me sort of representing an idea that was talked about on a TED talk by this YouTuber, uh, Mark Robert, and he made uh, a video that talks about life and how if you take um, daily challenges as a game, then you will be able to see that you try harder and you try often and you don't give up until you win. So he compared life to a to like Mario Bros, you know, the all that crap. So he's saying that if you take everything as a game, you're not gonna think about the consequence or the result. You're just gonna think about you just wanna win, right? Doesn't matter how many tries it takes. And nothing is going to be deducted from you, just some like imaginary sort of count of lives that you die and then you get back up or whatever. Um, so um, in this video, I am making a painting, kind of representing this idea, making a map about the struggles that I'm going to face in my life personally and how eventually if I do carry on and do surpass all these obstacles i will end up having my greatest desires and greatest you know accomplishments or whatever um so yeah so this is what this video is about um have fun watching it <laughs> okay when you start thinking about making a piece you have to think about the bigger picture where do you start and how do you finish? So when I think about this piece over here, I'm seeing me and my partner and the kind of struggles that we're going to go through, daily fights, work, time management. And it's funny how he said traffic because obviously he feels about that. My partner is showing me that yes, this Mario game seems like you're only going down, that you're losing lives, when in reality you're actually just moving upwards each and every step of the way. So therefore, we're going to use a pyramid to represent that. And when considering about what you want to show, what you want, what you're going to work for, your greatest desires, your goals, there are two ways to go about it. Similar to the book I'm reading right now, there was a chapter that I read that stuck with me and it was on the concept of politeness. It says that romanticism, Rousseau's beliefs, has led society to take a step back from politeness and reconsider it. Politeness has come under suspicion. It says that the frank person is different from the polite person, as we know. The frank person thinks about bigger issues like climate change, global warming, poverty, hunger, and so on. And when translated to our day-to-day -day wishes, buying a house, buying a car, and so on. The polite person uses its humility and sympathy to reward others and themselves on a daily basis let's say buying an ice cream rewarding yourself with a drink rewarding yourself with perhaps a face mask at the end of the night and again you cannot say that one is bigger than the other because at the end of the day the small things that we do on a daily basis add up to make our bigger picture
this life, we always have this constraint, the constraint of time, the illusion of time. We go about our lives looking at our watches, our phones, and just wishing we had just a little bit more. If only we could manage it a bit better. We think about our work constantly, exhaustingly, and we almost never think about the consequences of working too much or working too little, for instance. Referring back to the Super Mario effect, Mark Robert has made an experiment. He has given a group of participants a game, which was in a format of clothing. And he gave two conditions. One group had to play the game without any constraints. The only goal was to succeed. Whereas the other group was given a condition. They would lose imaginary lives, like I previously said. The condition has affected the results extremely. The group that had no condition tried many times and succeeded many more times than the other group. The condition let the participants down. It made them feel sad, disencouraged, and so they didn't try. In this video, I want to challenge you guys to think of your life as a game. Don't think about what's going to happen if you lose once, twice, three times. You know, we're always told in school, everywhere we go, to try and then we're not going to lose anything. And majority of the times it's hard to believe. But that is the ultimate truth. If you don't try, you're not even going to know what's going to happen. So let's do that. And don't forget, play to the best of your abilities.